Antonio Graceffo, and this is Black Belt Magazine's Destinations. Today we are in the Philippines, a country that has a ton of indigenous martial arts. There's probably like 300 different arts in the Philippines. On top of that, you've got 7,000 islands to explore, and every one of them has their own masters, their own styles. When you think of Filipino martial arts, this is probably what you're thinking about. Sticks, knives, people doing tappy-tappy, and that's part of it. But this is also Philippine martial arts. So when I bridge, when I'm bridging, which is a defensive technique, he, it's, it's forcing his body down on my head, he's cracking my skull. I started my Philippine martial art adventure on an island called Palawan where I was training with Dennis Santos and he was teaching me Arnis, which is probably the most common martial art in the Philippines, the one most people associate with the Philippines. At the same time I was also boxing with the amateur boxing team on the island, so between the gym and the boxing and Arnis, I was able to train three times a day and it was costing me almost nothing. Eventually, Dennis referred me to Master Frank Icocho in Manila, and he is a master of Kun Tao. Now, Kun Tao is a martial art you may or may not be familiar with, but what I like about Kun Tao is that it's got everything. It's got sticks, it's got knives, which you expect in Filipino arts, but it's also got grappling, it's got striking, it's got kicking, and uh, it's just an all-encompassing martial art, which is what I tend to like. And I also learned Yao Yan, which is the Philippine equivalent of Muay Thai, but the Yao Yan is different than Muay Thai in that they still have the uh, shin kicks, knee kicks, elbow kicks, punches, just like you would in Muay Thai, and they've been incorporated, then they've incorporated a lot of elements of other martial arts, and so for example, the spinning back fist is one of the most devastating knockout punches in Yao Yan. One of the weirdest things about training Yao Yan is the bag. The bag is this massive beehive looking thing and uh, they take a normal bag and they dip rattan into uh, rubber cement and they wrap it around and around and around and around the bag until it's just this, this huge, hard, sharp object that you're kicking and it, and it just tears up your shins and your feet. And these guys are hardcore, man. They can work that thing all day. After I looked at traditional Yao Yan, then I trained in hybrid Yao Yan. Now, hybrid Yao Yan is a Philippine MMA art. And just like other arts in the Philippines, they've taken from everything. They took from Sambo, from BJJ, from MMA, from uh, Sanda, from uh, Muay Thai, from kickboxing. They, they learned everything. Um, these guys were telling me they would actually go down to the port and spar with the Russian sailors and pick up bits and pieces of Sistema and Sambo and stuff like that and they would enter competitions in Muay Thai and kickboxing and all different sorts of arts and they just kept adding it and adding it to this hybrid Yao Yan and uh, Sir Henry Kobayashi was the master there and he's only about 125 pounds but I bet he can kill just about anybody I've ever trained with but that was an incredible experience. <laughs> I'm Antonio Graceffo, and that's it for Black Belt Magazine's Destination Philippines.